morning everyone, Chris again. Today I'm joined by Billy, my nephew. Morning. And what we're doing today is we're taking his Nikon. Uh, Coolpix B500 bridge camel. Right, so we're going to take out today. Billy's only just got the camera, so we're going to see what this piece of machine is going to do for us. So we're going to take 12 photographs. So we'll probably do about 100 photographs all together, but then we choose 12. And each category is two photographs. So we'll do metal, wood, texture, architecture, industry and birds. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So as we go around, we're going to be we're giving Billy some tips. He's going to use the tripod, we're going to take the tripod off that camera. I'm going to use that handheld today. Also as well, just as a quick one, this here is a Greenwich map. It shows you all the green areas and all the grass areas inside the borough, London Borough of Greenwich. It shows you all the parks as well. So in f future YouTube videos, I'll probably be going around to some of these, looking up the history of it first to see what's there and what was there, and then not do little videos on it. So yeah, so it should be good. So yeah, so the first one we're going to do today is metal. So we're going to stop the video for a minute, get set up with the tripod, and then do the first couple of shots, and then we're going to carry on. We've got about six miles to do today. So we're going to go through the nature reserve, through the section 106 public right of way footpath, which is called Woodland Way. Goes all the way around through Belvedere marshes, up and over, and into Cross Ness. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and hopefully I'll give you a few tips on taking photographs and all that sort of thing. So yeah, Bill, looking forward to it, mate. Smash it. Can't we've got wait. a little bit of brandy and coke for later, because we're not driving. Happy days. Happy days, mate. Happy days. Right, let's crack on, shall we? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's crack it. All right, so the sh first shot's going to be this metal padlock. So we're doing metal pictures first. So go on then, Bill. Have a go at that, mate. So he's going to zoom in, try and blur the background out on this. I'll be putting the photos up later on the end of this video anyway. So you'll see the uh, afters. We're going to edit in Picasso 3 as well on my laptop later. Not right, too take, sad. And take another one just in case, because if one comes out blurred, you've got another photo to play with. And zoom in. Oh. Yeah. Zoom out a bit. It's, it's playing games because of the sunlight. That's the right. one. Okay. Happy days. So Bill, where's most of your photos going then? Uh, on my Instagram is Bill underscore snaps 98, mate. Lovely, okay. Make sure you check them out, people. I'll put a link in the, the uh, description below to Billy's yeah. Insta. So he's just starting. So at the moment he's got the old Manfrotto tripod that I've lent him today. So yeah, we're gonna, gonna be getting some good photos. And it's a lovely day, look at this. Perfect. I think we took the right time to have off work, mate. Oh, big time, mate. <laughs> Can't beat where the sun at. No. These are very nice for photo builders. You get one of these up close. Oh, all right. You've got the little um, spider webs on as well. So if you go in and get a photo of that. But if you zoom, you'll blur out your background. Get there in a sec. It's <laughs> alright, no rush. But all day. See, even without the tripod on the floor, it still keeps you steady because of the weight. Oh, definitely. That's why I like to use a heavy tripod. I've got some good ones there, to be fair. Nice one. I'll look at him later. Not too bad. So I don't know about you, but as I'm walking around, I keep looking at things going, oh, I wish I had my camera, that photo, there's a photo, there's a photo there. And you can do it on your sort of camera phone and it's okay, but I always want to come back and do the same photo again with my camera. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Right. So as you walk around, if you see something, just get it and then if it turns out it's not what you was after, just delete it, you know? So I um, done some videos the other week along the river walk, but oh, there was right. loads of people down there, and I was doing a YouTube video, yeah, and yeah. there was so many people about that I spent three hours filming, walked home and deleted it all. Just oh, went man. straight in the dustbin. <laughs> just not having none of it. Yeah, because it just wasn't right. That's the way it is. 
Let me get out of the shadow there because my shadow's in that photo. Good. Trying to get in there. Right, so if you just look, stand that tripod down a minute, on the side of there you'll see there's a button here. So oh. If you hold your camera, if you dial back that's that there, oh. that, that makes your camera move. All right. That gives you the tilt. So I'll unlock the tilt. If you put it sideways like that and now lock it, roll that wheel forwards, that will hold that camera ah. dead still. Some of your shots today, do them on a tilt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people go, oh, I've taken a photo and it's too straight and all that. Don't worry about that. Give it a little bit of a tilt, it's a bit of artistic impression on it. Nice. A lot of my my nice photos are tilted. I do like tilting them. If I've got the top of a tree here and I've got a nice bit of beach there and I want it all in one shot, yeah. I'll tilt the camera to get it all in one shot. Not too oh, bad. Yeah. And that's what that little button does, that unlocks your tilt on there. Ah, and if you want to unlock it up again, you just turn that wheel back, put your camera up, and then and lock. There you go, and that's locked, and then just spin the wheel and it tightens your camera up again. Not too bad. Wonderful. So another little tip for you, Bill. If you're ever out and about for doing photography right. and you want to get some special effects and stuff like that, get some baby oil, right. mix it in a little pump bottle you get from the pan shop. Yeah. Mix half water, half baby oil. When you go over to a flower or a leaf, yeah. finally spray it, yeah. set your camera up a tripod, and as it drips, it'll drip slowly because of the oil, and oh. you get a better shot. That's how that people makes. get drips off of plants, yeah. That's a good idea to be And sure. you don't have to have a fast shutter speed or anything because it's the oil that's dripping down. Even better. And it no, works. I didn't know about that. That's, that's all right, that is. Yeah. That's good. It's a good little tip, mate. Used bad. it a few times. So we've got some flowers coming up already. So nice and low. You've got the sunshine on the flowers there. Zoom in. Half shutter. And down. That's it. Keep the camera as still as possible. Lovely, that'll do you. Can you tell me anything else that you would photograph in that picture? In between them flowers, what would you photograph? Just see if you've got the eye that I have. Um, There's no wrong answer. The rock with a moss on it at the back. That's the one. So you've got the rock with moss on at the back, which is a good photograph. Definitely. But this front one, oh, right. it's got shiny speckles all over it, shining in the sunshine. Oh yeah. That'd be amazing. But yeah, get down with the tripod, have a couple of shots of each of them, Bill, if you want. Just watch your shadow. Oh, we are still too far zoomed in, that's why. A nice red. You can feel the sun being around a bit more, really. Mm. If you come around this side, Bill, and zoom across to it, I'll just move that stick out of the way. I know it's natural, but I shot that because it's pink, and we can colour that in a little bit. Not focus is playing a game. Woodpeckers. Woodpeckers have been doing this tree. Look at them holes in the 
little pecs all the way up the end. So you've got a free run on this one, Bill. Just go, I'd go in there for you and, and get some close ups. Probably, yeah. That, yeah. Do an outdoor afterwards, just in case the sun goes in. So that's another one. We're doing metal, wood, birds, architecture, industry, and water. Right, so I was just saying to Billy, Billy's been chimping, right, which is like a fatal mistake for photographers. Chimping is when you look through your camera images and go, oh, don't like that, don't like that, don't like that. And then you think, oh, no, I've had a shit day, I'll delete them all. The best part of photography is getting home, sitting down, get yourself a cup of coffee or a beer, get that computer on, slide that memory card in, have a look to see what you've got and see what you can do better and edit it in. Don't ever chimp, just take the photos and go. All right. Dearly noted. Dearly noted. I will take that on board. Yes. Pan. <laughs> 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 so Bill, one of the, one of the uh, categories on there is metal. Metal, yes. Look at that dirty side. Got a nice cool slide behind it. So if you set your tripod here, you can go low if you want. As long as you get the canopy of the tree in with that sign and the shadow going across it. Not too bad. Oh. Happy? Happy. Right, let's go and try and cross this road without getting killed, though. Fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just getting a nice shot of these four green posts. Nice shade of green there. That's the one. All along the fence has gone all green as well. If you bring that camera in, right, switch, it, switch it on. Drop that a little bit. Just hold your camera. Drop that down. Right down, right down, right down. Right, zoom in to that with that green moss on it so you get it right in the picture right when you've got it let me know yeah got it tighten the wheel is it still in the picture yep right press downwards what does it say macro mode on yep. yeah on yeah yep right very gently don't move the camera too much halfway down on that shutter button and take three photos one Bang. Back out of macro mode now, we're back on this path. So, you've got two focus squares coming up, yeah? Yep. So, you've got it halfway down? Yep. Right, one, two, three, go. One, two. As soon as it beeps, take the photo. Bang. That's beautiful, look at that. See the nice. greens? That's going to be nice. Backer. That's going to be a nice shot. Yeah, that's wicked, that. It is a nice path, this one. Yeah, just the way that path goes round, it winds around them trees. It's like Narnia. Nice one. So one more, just obviously a little bit zoomed out. So 
So let's do another one, shoot it through here of that branch because that branch has got a nice reflection to it and it's got the moss on it as well and the sunshine's coming through there from the reeds. So you've got like a gold sort of colour coming through. Sorry about the road noise but it can't be helped. <laughs> So, yeah. What you can do quicker is take the top off if you wanted to. Ah, um, it's not a bad idea. Um, splay the legs out. Put this one in. Put down on the ground. Yep. Undo that screw. This one? Yep. Just undo it. Now lift it up. Press that switch in. Ah, right now you can do Freddie Mercury. <laughs> oh, one, two, three, three. And then just go down in between them two bars through there. See the colours? Oh, yes. That's it, go down a little bit. That's it. You've got the, you've got the uh, silhouette. In the water. Now, if you stay there a second, I'm going to do you a big favour, right? Get ready to take three or four shots as fast, right? As fast as you can, right? No worries. Are you ready? Let me know when you're ready. Yeah. Go. Okay. Right. Go back to, the, I know it's Jim him, but just go back to the first one. <laughs> just to see it's come out. Otherwise I'll have to chuck another stone in. Uh, you might have to chuck another one in. I'll have to chuck another stone in. Yeah. Oh dear, he weren't quick enough. What do you reckon? Oh, this one's a good one. Look at this one. Are you ready, Billy? Yeah. You focused? Yep. Go. I do. I think I just caught it mid-air. <laughs> yeah? Go yeah. On. Bit what, that's the stone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to run out of stones. Oh, this is hilarious. Let me go and find another stone. Oh, I don't know. These newbies, you know what I mean? Oh, Getting me out of it, people. Getting me out of it. I should get bitten by an adder or something. No, look in here. Yeah, this one I do, I think. Right. Oh, my God. He's bought some boulder. <laughs> You're on telly, you know that, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Right, get into your position, Billy Bob. All right. Now this time, don't come too quickly. <laughs> right? Alright. Okay, this is where it's free. Ready? Should we hit the tree or not me? Did Pre you get the fuck shot? I hope so. Yes. How yes. about that? Lovely. Yes! Finally. He's done Finally. it. Finally. He's got him wet And he got process. wet as well. But it's artistic, mate. You've got to get wet, mate. Oh, and I've got all water yeah. over the camera now as well, so I have to clean it now. Ah. Happy days. Now I smell like swamp. So, we're at Cross Nest Nature Reserve. Mm -hmm. We need to do another metal picture. Yep. So you've got that water pump there, the windmill. Lovely. And you've got one over there. This one looks better because it's green. But that one looks better because it looks like it's out on the prairie. So if you didn't have that stuff in the background, that could be anywhere, that could be in America. Also as well, you've got a couple of totem holes here. And what I said about textures, you can get another wood shot on that. You can get your textures off them poles in the middle of them hides. Also as well, you can go in there and have a look around in there. If you lift the logs, you'll find bugs under there, little noops and stuff. You might better try and get a photo of them. Just be careful when you put the logs back down. Yeah. And while you're doing that, I'm going to sit and have a brownie and coke. Enjoy it. Enjoy yes. It. So, free run, Bill. Free run. Free run, mate. Definitely. I'll go and see if the building's open. I'm going to sit in comfort if it rains. I don't think it's going to rain, mate.
Cheers, Bill. Cheers, Bob. Happy days. That's the one. Good health, sir. Oh. Happy so far? Definitely. Yeah? Cool. Definitely. Nice one. Great place, isn't it? Parker, mate. Parker. Never been here before. No. Nah. First time. No, nah, it's a lovely place. Mm. We're just doing the next part now, which is metal. And I said to Billy, over there, there's a waste incinerator. And in there, there's some metal pipes sticking out and there's peregrine falcons above there. Can't actually see them, but Billy's gonna zoom right in. But on his camera, it goes from optical zoom into digital zoom. Digital zoom, the camera makes up what it thinks that you wanna see. And you might not wanna see that, so you're better off leaving it just into optical before it hits that T. Leaves it in optical, and then he can zoom in afterwards if he wants to. So, how's it going, Bill? You not getting on too it? bad, not too bad. Do a few, because at that distance with this wind, you might get a bit of camera shaking. Yeah, definitely getting quite a bit of that at the minute. Another good tip is your bag, your backpack, hang it off the bottom of the tripod and it steadies you as well. You don't need to do it now, it's not windy enough. No, no, of course. But in worse weather, just hang your bag off your tripod. Another in fa interesting fact, that one. Yeah. Ah. Great stuff, let's we'll see what they come out like later. They'll be part of the metal series of photographs. Right, so we're doing a really long shot right up on that building. So there's the pipes, and that's to get this on this camera. But if you see here, Bill, yeah. that's your timer. Oh, yeah. Hit that. Oh, yeah. Go to two seconds. Press OK. Yep. Yeah. Now you're on a two second timer. Ready? Go on. Focus. Hit and let go. Bang. Nice. Your camera doesn't move because you're not touching it. You can get a wire for these. They're good, a remote wire. But you don't need all these wires and crap. Let's do another one just in case. Hit that one. As you see, as I press it, the camera's moving. Hit timer. You can go two seconds or five seconds, it doesn't matter. But good thing about this camera is it goes back to normal after you've done it. So you let go. Bang. Nice. And that's clear as well. And somewhere up there, there is a nest somewhere around there. Oh, right. Whether you'll get anything on your photographs later, it'll be really interesting. Yeah, nice one, Bill. Fair old distance, though, from where we are to where them pipes are. It's a long way, yeah, it's a quarter of a mile, easy. Yeah, so in this bit, Bill. It's the little uh, bug area. Oh, right. So you just got to be careful these logs. Oh. So underneath these logs, a nice tongue hog. Sometimes you find sort of bugs, mini heads. You just got to be careful when you put it back down. Oh, of course. No. Oh yeah, there's one, it's uh, underneath got? the actual log. What, what is it? Uh, looks like a red ant or something. Oh, it's a red ant. Not sure. Nobody oh, likes a red ant. They bite. Let's have a look under this one. That little sunlight there. What have we got? What have we got? Some worms. Mm. Oh, we've got some sort of chrysalis there, look. I don't know what that is. Oh, right. It's black and silver, shiny thing. Yeah. So you're not going to touch anything because your oil on your hands can hurt them. Yeah. Let's have a look under here. You know what I said about the textures, Peter? Yes. You've got to get that in the sun. Oh, of course. That is the textures you want. Yeah. Right, let's have a look under here. Snail. Snail, yeah. Yeah. Normally we find a new yeah. <coughs> maybe it's the wrong time of year for I don't know. We've got uh, we've got a centipede. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, uh, definitely definitely catch uh, You've got to get a shot of that. That is that is the one. Yeah. That is so nice. It looks like it's going to collapse as well. 
<laughs> but it is a nice picture that it gives you all the uh, textures of the wood just right. wondering at the angle get that and the uh, windmill in the back if it's possible um, what do you reckon I would do the texture separate. Yeah? Yeah, I would get the windmill from the bottom upwards so it looks bigger. Not too bad. Um, yeah, and that's the better windmill out of two, as we say, it's because it's gone green. Of course. That other one's a bit, a bit yeah. shiny. Yeah, a bit rough on it. But, but yeah, definitely, definitely get as close up of this, yeah. but do it from an angle. Of course. So you don't see the gaps through it. Yeah. yeah. Guys? Cool. All right, let's go and have a. Oh, now we relax. Why get your camera? Out. Looks like an old wood shack, doesn't it? Like you know, really dried wood. Been sitting there for a long, long time. Well people, I think Billy must be enjoying himself because he went, go on then mate, free run. I've not seen him for half hour, so he's gone off over the nature reserve somewhere with his camera, so yeah. Yeah, so hopefully uh, we'll get some good shots and that. So he's gone off, I don't know where he is. So. I'm just sitting here chilling out for a little while. So I hope you're enjoying the video so far. Yeah, let's uh, see what else we can get as well on the way around. So another little tip is when you're going out for the day with your camera just have a little plan of what you want to get so if you want you've got to work out where you're walking and you sort of got to know the area use google earth if you don't and you know sort of what photos you want so today obviously we've done a list this morning so metal wood textures industry birds and architecture so i know that we was going through that gate so we had metal we knew, I knew that the dead trees were here for the wood. The textures, I knew there was some in here for the nature reserve. The industries, the buildings around us, and we're going to be going on the Thames shortly. The birds is the Southern Outfall Sewer. There's loads of birds there, so we're going to try and get a cormorant stood on a post, because that would be a good photograph. And architecture will be passing cross nests, which is a Victorian 1865 sewage works, which you've probably seen loads of times on my channel anyway. But yeah, I always have a plan of what you want to do. You don't have to stick to it, but it's always good. You can get like 10 or 12 super shots, of what I call them, and you keep them, and they're the ones you put up on your Instagrams and things like that. So yeah, so we're nearly through the list, but yeah, we're cracking on. Right, so at the minute we're at Great Breach Pumping Station. And what we've done is, really spotted a nice reflection that we can either use for metal or industrial loose so hopefully you get a nice few good shots of that and the move around just got a little, a little movement of the water as well it's nice and zoom in a little bit see if we can get anywhere with this yeah not too bad not too bad Well, while you're here, Billy, while you're set up there, yes, you remember you where your macro switch is? Click it to macro. Yep. Now point your camera down at the, at the top of that. Just point it down. Spin the wheel. Oh, here we go. We'll get there in the end. Oh, hey. Here we go. All right. All right. Nice and close on it, because you're in macro. Halfway down. Do three. Zoom out a little bit. Two. And three. A bit of shadow in there. Nice. No, that's what you want. It's like a dappled effect. You've got half shade, half sun. Right, okay. Yeah. Lovely. Snap. Little tip, little tip for you. 
So, camera on. Yeah. Yeah. Right, go to timer. Yeah. Hit five seconds. Alright. Get in focus. Press your button. How about that? Now when you uh, zoom in on it, you're higher up. So you don't need to run. No one needs to run. <laughs> <laughs> That's just to show you what you can do if you want to like take a photograph over a wall or like an old building you want to see it higher. Nice. Just five seconds, hold it straight, bang. Yeah, but now you can do your decent shots in here. That's how quick thinking. Oh. Oh, he's going in. He means business. He's getting used to it. It's a lot of faffing about, but it's worth it with a tripod. Mm. Wow, what can you see? I might have to put a bit higher. Yes, I do. Put the middle bar up if you want. One bar and just turn that screw there. And then bring it up. Should get through there with a the zoom. Just about. We're going for the, the woods. Yeah, it's got some nice shadows on there. Oh, you can smell them digestion tanks right now. Oh, that stinks. Must have been curry night last night. Oh, the old pigeons there, look. Oh. Probably got no sense of smell whatsoever. Billy decides to stop here for a photograph. Yeah, why not? You know what I mean, artistic impression of work. I need to retrain him. Do not stop near a poop station. <laughs> Such is life. Yeah, so that's the colours I was talking about in the sun. One side goes orange, the other one sort of goes into yellow, even though it's all the same colour. So this is like a classic shot. Always oh, going in. Trying to get Got a very steady finger. Not putting no pressure on your belt. Nah. No. Never. How long before them batteries go? <laughs> Full batteries for now. Oh, cool. Yeah, just don't jinx it, please. No. Hopefully, we'll get it on this as well. Yellow, reflection of clouds there, and then orange inside, the rest of the shade. Uh, this was only built about two years ago, this building. I don't normally like new stuff, but this is quite nice. Even though it is a defragmation building, it's a dewatering building. So they take the water out of the sewage, make them solids. No one did stinks. See that bit of engine sticking up there? That's an Eastern Anderson engine. There's a whole engine there. Oh, right. It's not been put together. If you put your tripod up and zoom in, you'll get the top of that engine, the rust, and you get the building behind it. That's quite a nice one. And then you just crop the terrace fence and out afterwards, or you crop it out with your zoom. Nice. Again, he spotted something yeah. under the willows. Looks like the inside of a skull.
Master Luke, Master Luke, I know what you've got for Christmas. I felt your presence. <laughs> Melt with chocolate, bruv. Happy, happy New Year. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, a bit late for that one. Thanks Going a bit, eh? Yeah. Big man who's put me by. Anyway, we've had a really good day so far, people. Got some nice photographs. So, yeah, we're going to go back now. Maybe get a couple of beers. Go up. Sit down. Do some editing. So, yeah. Happy days. Happy days, Bill. Happy days. Nice photos. Nice photos. That's Hopefully. Yeah, we might end up deleting them all and putting them in the dustbin. <laughs> right. <Exactly. laughs> Speak soon, everyone. Turn up now. Bye, Turn Bill. Bye, people. Turn up, mate. Bye, mate.